Hey guys, and welcome back to Trials and Tribulations. In the last part, the second trial has started, and now we're going to get the first testimony out. So let's do it. That evening, around 1 a.m., I went to see Mr. Bullard in his office at KB Security. The blackmail letter I got, it ordered me to go there. I'd been working for KB Security until a year ago, so I knew where his office was. Wow, that's it, huh? Okay. 1 a.m., the exact time the murder took place. The weak get washed away by the tides of fate. The strong drink it up. Like your frickin' coffee? Shut up! Oh, I'm getting sick of this guy, and it's only the first trial. <laughs> it's bitter today, too. Just like my destiny. You never know that from the way he's chugging it down. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination, if you please. As long as Godo shuts his face, I'm good. Because, God, he's annoying. Okay, that evening around 1 a.m., I went to see Mr. Bullard and I was like, KB Security. 1 a.m., huh? You're absolutely sure about that? Yes, that's what my watch said when I was entering the CEO's office. Er, no. Actually, I'm not really sure. My watch was slow, and my internal clock was also a bit... 1 a.m., that's the exact time the victim, Mr. Bullard, was murdered, correct? It's too late for a coffee date, that's for sure. Uh, probably not for you. You probably masturbate with your coffee all night long, don't you? God. The blackmail letter I got, it ordered me to go there. Yes, it did. What about that? It ordered you there? It was the first time I'd gotten a blackmail letter that ordered me to go somewhere. Does that mean you've gotten other blackmail letters then? Oh, of course. They'd say things like, steal this, or take that. Ah, why don't you save those for later, Mr. Delight? Please don't say any more. Now, what should I do? Uh, press harder. So what did the blackmail letter in question say? It said to bring $50,000. Money, eh? A perfect modem for, motive for committing murder. Oh, but... Well, wait, wait! I never intended to pay that money anyway. Oh? Is that right? After all, he had nothing to hold over my head. I had nothing to be afraid of. Hmm. An important point indeed. How do you... Okay, let's have that add to your testimony. Yes, sir. Okay. Huh. <laughs> muddy mud skipper in outer space has a better chance of surviving than I do. What's a muddy mud skipper, and why would it not have a good chance of surviving in outer space? Is it a frog? Is it like a salamander thing? I've never heard of one. Maybe it doesn't need air. Maybe it breathes mud. Maybe there's lots of mud on the moon. You never know. Have you been to the moon? No? I didn't think so. So why can't... <sighs> like my letter didn't scare me. I wasn't going... It wasn't going to cause me trouble or anything. I think not. For I remember it saying, uh, if you don't, I'll take that red diamond you received the other day instead. If you don't want your true identity revealed to the world... However, I shall first press this statement just to be absolutely safe. Just because I don't know. Just what were you being blackmailed about anyway? The blackmail letter said if you don't want your I oh, pff, yeah, see, if you don't want your identity revealed, correct? I'm sure it was referring to the whole mask to mask thing. But I wasn't worried. Mr. Bowler didn't have anything on me. He didn't? Anyway, I don't care what anyone says about me. Just as long as Desi believes in me. So that's why Mr. Light doesn't, didn't believe he was mask to mask. Jeez. Oh, I, wow, I spaced out right there for a second. <laughs> that's why I knew they were just hollow threats. Hmm. Okay, then that's not... Alright, KB Security until a year ago, so I knew where his office was. Okay. It didn't cause me any trouble or anything. Now, there's this. Alright. Or, well, wait a minute. No, that just kind of says that... Let's see any crime. I, um... Oh. Okay, he was stealing as directed by blackmail letters. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so now there's two things. It's like, if you don't want your identity revealed, or, um, there's this, where it's Kane's list, and he shows that, you know, he knows how much they're all worth. So, we you know what? Because this is I don't care. I'm using a guide. I really honestly don't care. Um, wait a minute. Okay. So, it is a good thing I did not present anything, because I'm supposed to press here. <laughs> I really don't care. If you guys have a problem with it, I don't care either. So, tough. Anyway, 
You used to be a security chief for KB Security, correct? All right. Yes, that's right. A security chief? You? And yet, a year ago, you were fired without notice. Revenge for an old grudge? A perfect motive for murder, wouldn't you say? Would you shut up about the motive thing? Go drink some coffee. Mm -hmm. This isn't good. Maybe I should change the subject? Uh, why he was fired. How about that? Mr. Delight, please tell us why you were fired from your job. Well, the world is filled with those who have said, I wish I had never asked that. Oh, okay, then I take it back. Defendant, please answer the question. I, well, I needed money. You needed money? Um, well, you see, Desi loves to spend it. It's kind of her hobby. Not exactly the best hobby in the world, huh, Nick? My salary wasn't nearly enough, so I stole data from the company. Come again? KP Security has a lot of security uh, security info on all sorts of companies. And since I was a security team chief, you stole some data and sold it. Mr. Board found out and I was fired immediately. Wah! I wish I had never asked that. Ha 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 ha. Get it? Because Goto just said that I would say that. I was somehow able to keep it secret and made it seem like I had quit on my own. What is it, Nick? You don't look so good. Someone who brings harm to their company is fired as punishment. You'd do well to remember that. He sure told you. So you admit that you stole data from your company. Is that correct? Y yes I'm sorry. <laughs> God. This is a very important fact. Please add it to your testimony. Oh man, this whole thing just took a big turn for the worse. Crashed and blew up. <laughs> That's actually a really good line. I love that. Oh god. It's going to take the jaws of life to rip this case from the clutches of disaster. He fired me for selling company secrets, but Desi doesn't know about that. Okay, let's see here. Um, Ron's testimony, buzzer record, no. Um, Kane's list, no. Um, profiles? Do I need to... Let me see. Okay, his body's on site safe. I thought it was going to go into the fact that... Oh, well, here, I'll just press this one. How about this? Why would you do something like that? Well, for Desi's hobby. What else? Wasting money, huh? It's not a waste! Ugh. <laughs> God. So Miss Delight doesn't know that her husband was fired, does she? So it would seem. I'm not sure what to think about couples who keep secrets like that from each other. I can't believe it. This case has gotten even Maya to think seriously about couples. Please try to stay focused, Mr. Wright. Hmm, there wasn't much to his testimony, was there? Sounds like he's avoiding something. At least, that's what it sounds like to me. Uh-oh, I've got a bad feeling about this. We better be careful. Uh, but if we don't find a way to make him spill the beans, we'll never get closer to the truth. Yeah. Alright. That evening around one, two... Blah, blah, blah. Okay, blackmail letter I got. We're going to go there. Okay, how about this? Just what were you being blackmailed about, anyway? Blackmail letter said... If you don't want your identity revealed. And I can't skip this. Whole mask to mask thing. You see, that, honestly, I hate that. That, like, sorry. This just, this just, I'm grinding this to a halt right here. I really, really hate that about this game, honestly. Because in every other game, up to this point, what you do is... You press, you get all their testimony out, you look for things, you present. You don't go through the testimony, press everything, and then go back and press more. That's crazy. It's so, so annoying. I mean, I know that that was a contradiction, the fact that he had nothing to worry about. And then he goes into the fact that he was fired for stealing data. I know that that's a contradiction, but still, it's, it's really, really aggravating how they just change up the mode of gameplay so much. Anyway, tisk tisk. I'm afraid that reason isn't going to hold up anymore. What do you mean? The victim had no proof the defendant was mask to mask, but you were the one who stole company secrets only one year earlier. But 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 it was that was all over once with once I was fired. But it is true the fact that I stole some secrets was kept under wraps. Even so, there was no reason for me to pay up now a whole year later. Is that really true? What is it, Nick? The fact that Ron was stealing company data. I wonder if he would have had a problem if he, that ever became public knowledge. Yeah, duh, because he's a thief. 
Mr. Delight, I believe you would have been in considerable trouble if your identity as a company data thief was made public. Erk! Mr. Wright! What are you trying to do by bullying your own client? Huh. <laughs> Men are like colonies of bacteria. The more heat you apply, the faster they grow. And if you apply a little bit too much heat, you kill them all. And then you're not sick anymore. Shut up, Godo! You're stupid. Th that's exactly right. Well then, feel free to keep up the heat, my little lawyer amigo. The little lawyer amigo? <laughs> yeah. Now come on, provide, provide some evidence to back up your assertion. Why would Mr. Delight want to keep his data-stealing secret from going public? Because of Desi? Because she doesn't like thieves? But just in case... <sighs> I don't... I really don't... Yes, that is. My assumption was correct. Mr. Mr. Delight, what you just said now... Do, wait, what you said just now doesn't match what you told me yesterday. Huh? What doesn't? I think you must have been scared. Very scared. Like, the thing scared. Yeah. Of having your cl certain person... Oh, yeah. Of having a certain person find out your secret. Gulp. A certain person? Epic nod. Anyway. Miss Desiree Delight, the defendant's wife. Wah, but, but I, I... Well, listen to me. My Desi, she's... Looks like if I just sit back and relax, the fun will end before it truly begins. Grr, Godo! <laughs> yes, we know. It was all your wife's fault. What do you mean? Mr. Delight stole company data to pay for his wife's spending habit, for which he was fired. Unable to face his own wife, someone used his dirty little secret to blackmail him. And that is how this murder came about. Oh. Hmm. No! Everything's falling neatly into place for him! D -d don't talk about my Desi like that! What, he didn't say anything about her. Or you'll be sorry! Well, it seems that we've learned a great deal of things here so far. What do you think, Nick? Uh, I think we're screwed. <laughs> I didn't think it was good... I didn't think it was possible to get so thoroughly whipped in just 20 minutes. Uh, no, that was more like, uh, 12. So, yeah, you're wrong there. Anyway, clearly there was sufficient motive for murder. He stole data from her, for his wife, and he killed to protect his secret. A family man who cared just a little too much. I can see the headlines now. Shut up, Godo! Okay, the motive is clear. Let's move on. Uh, g g g g g g h what happened to the crime scene at one in the morning, Mr. Delight? Come now, tell us. We're all ears. What's Miss Hedmond at CAO's office? When I entered the office, there was a suspicious shadow there. Oh god, it's Marowak's mom, or Cubone's mom. Smacked him on the head with boom, uh, bone meringue. Anyway, suddenly I was hit on the forehead. After that, I remember being a bit dazed. If I hadn't been wearing that, I wouldn't have been I would have been killed. When I came to, Mr. Bullard was lying there dead. When you're wearing what? Who talks like that? I see. Suddenly hit on the forehead, huh? I believe that the detective from yesterday provided similar testimony. He said that mask to mask struck him on the head from behind. Of course, since Atme turned out to be the culprit himself, that was all a lie. <laughs> No one's going to believe a pathetic lie like that. Well, what are you saying? I was really attacked. We'll find out if what you say is true or not during the cross-examination. Got that, Mr. Trite? Don't go easy just because he's your client. Shut up, coffee man. If I see any sign that you are, I'll treat you to another cup of my special blend. You don't need to worry about that, Mr. Godo. I have faith in Ron. I know he didn't do it. Yeah, yeah. I already know, too, because I've beaten this game once before. When I entered the office, there was a suspicious shadow there. Jeez, that's a lot of S's. <laughs> Who was this suspicious shadow? If there were a thousand of me and even one knew, I'd tell you. Trust me. His dodging all of our questions is not helping us with the win this case. Okay, then how was the victim Mr. Kane Bullard, uh, Mr. Bullard at the time? Uh, he was, he was dead? <laughs> what do you mean by how was he? Was he already dead? Was he still alive? Maybe he was the one who hit you in the first place. That's a good question. What do you think, Mr. Wright? F 
forget it. Suddenly I was hit on the forehead. After that I remember being a bit dazed, yes. Alright, what now? Your forehead? Yes, I was hit on the forehead as soon as I entered the room. It was an amazingly fast and powerful attack. He hit me with extreme speed! Even though it's not extremely powerful. <laughs> Get it? Extreme speed? Extreme... Do you remember anything about who hit you? Well, like I said, it was a fast and powerful hit. So I think I was a little dazed for a while. I don't think Mr. Light even grasped what you were asking. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to show him a fast and powerful attack myself. Maybe that would knock some sense back into him. Alright, if I hadn't been wearing that, I would have been killed. What the frick does that even mean? That's such Japanese writing right there. That? Could you please clarify what you're referring to? Why, my mask to mask costume, of course. Well, wait just a moment. Mask to mask? Huh? Oh, did I forget to mention it before? Yes, you did. Just to be on the safe side, I dressed as mask to mask. So, okay, a nation... Okay. A thief that is literally known around the nation walks into a place wearing his getup. He walks into a security building. I... Never mind. God. I question too much stuff, but my logic sensors are just freaking going into overdrive. Just to be on the safe side, just to a mask. And then I descended upon the office of the CEO of KTV Security. What? Nick, did you know about this? He never told me this. I don't recall him ever mentioning it to me either. Even I didn't know that. <laughs> it seems our little friend really loves to keep secrets. I'm sorry. I just never had a chance to mention it up until now. Wait. That's not right. Um, you know how sometimes things just slip your mind? <laughs> My sixth cup of coffee is staring up at me coldly. Because you let it get cold or because it's angry at you? Shut up! God, I'm so sick of Goto now. <laughs> and he's a good character. I'm just sick of his stupid coffee speeches. Anyway, at any rate, we can't ignore this new piece of information. Witness, please correct your testimony. I'd have been killed if I hadn't been wearing my mask to mask costume. Press that. Why were you dressed up as mask to mask? Why? Because I'm Master Mask, of course. But what are you talking about? Master Mask's trial is being held next door. Uh, y yes, I guess so. Anyway, at that time, I thought I was being blackmailed over the Master Mask issue. So I thought I should go as him just to be safe. Oh boy. Let me tell you, it's a real pain to move around in that cape. That's why it took a lot longer than I'd expected. Took a lot longer? What is he talking about? Wait, uh, press harder. Um, what do you mean by it took a lot longer? Oh, opening the safe, of course. My cape got caught in the safe door, you see. This all happened when I was hiding Mr. Bullard's body. What was that? Back up a second. Yes? You were the one that hid the body in the safe? Um, well, yeah. Inconceivable-e. Smack. Why? Just why? What reason could you have? What were you thinking? I like the judge. Question. When does someone toss their dirty shorts in the washing machine? Uh, what? The reason that... Blech. The answer is simple. When they take them off. <sighs> I'm getting sick of you, man. I really am. I'm just getting completely sick of this guy. As usual, I have no idea what you're saying. Do you mean that Mr. Delight hit the body because he's the murderer? <laughs> so you're not as stupid as you look. Screw you, man. My hair is way cooler than yours. Yours is bleach blonde and homo. <laughs> His metaphor this time was really obscure. Mr. Wright, you don't mean that you knew about this whole safe business, do you? Uh, well, yes. Why am I the only one not in the loop here? Because you're the idiot judge. Witness! Make sure you add this to your testimony. It, yes, sir. Uh-oh. Looks like a storm front is moving in over the fair weather judge. 
Okay, well, 19 minutes, nearly 20. Oh, well, now it's about 20 minutes. So, next time on Phoenix Wright, we will go ahead and continue this. So, I'll see you guys then.